This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. So this is going to be an update from my previous video on Atmosphere. And right now there's a pre-release that supports the latest Switch firmware, which is right now 20.0.1. Went ahead and tried it for myself and seems to be working just fine for what I use Atmosphere for. If you know what I mean. And I went ahead and made a pack for y'all that I will share as a link in the description. And we're going to go through this video together briefly because it is still a pre-release. So even if you try this, there's still some bugs that people may experience and also um, maybe things that are not updated for the latest version of Atmosphere, say Tesla or some other modules that you like to use. So. This is mainly going to be for those that accidentally updated and you can just get back onto your atmosphere and continue using it from here on out and wait until there is a full release or you can use this and try to downgrade back to 19.01 where everything is stable. So that would be up to you. So far, I created a pack of my files and it's going to be the other side AMS 1.9.0. Uh, with Hecate 6.2.5 and we'll go from there but with that being said let's go ahead and check it out all right so before we get started i want to show y'all that i am on the latest switch firmware right now which is 20.0.1 see right in the middle of the screen and i'm not running any atmosphere so what we need to do now is we need to access our sd card and extract the new files onto there Let's go ahead and move on to that. Okay, here on my PC, I went ahead and opened up my SD card from my Switch. And here we have the older version of Atmosphere, which was 1.8.0. And we want to update this to 1.9.0 to work with the latest Switch firmware, which is right now 20.0.1. In order to do this, we can download this one zip file that I have for y'all in the description down below. There's going to be several links, but one of them should say the other side, AMS 1.9.0. 0 hecate 6.2.5.zip click here if you want to download something like that but once you click on that link it should take you to the page where you can start the download process and then after that you can have it move to the desktop like i have done or wherever you have access to the zip file but once you download it we can go back to the sd card and here in this part i like to delete the atmosphere and bootloader because this minimizes a lot of issues when we're trying to update atmosphere now, I know a lot of people don't like doing that, but like I said, it minimizes a lot of issues. With that being said, if you delete the Atmosphere folder, um, inside the Contents folder in Atmosphere is where you probably have uh, cheats for games or other types of, of files, maybe some Sys modules that uh, will probably not work with Atmosphere. So it's best to take them out. So take everything out of the Contents folder or whatever you would like to save. Um, I don't know what will work with the latest atmosphere or the latest switch firmware, but just letting you know, if you keep this contents folder and you update to the 1.9.0, chances are it's going to give you errors. And just to minimize that, you can remove this contents folder or just take it out and then um, make sure you don't have anything in there. So that would be up to you. For me, I just delete it because I don't have anything um, in there to save. So with that being said we can go ahead and highlight atmosphere and then highlight bootloader and delete once you have those two deleted we can navigate to the zip file and here i like to use 7-zip i highly recommend it over winzip i don't know why a lot of people have issues with using winzip but i never have any issues with 7-zip so if you want to follow along with me i'll have a download link in the description to 7-zip as well but with 7-Zip, I'm going to open the archive. And here, once you open the archive, you have this folder for the other side, AMS 1.9. Just double click on this. And here you have access to the folders uh, and files for the update of Atmosphere 1.9.0. Now, the most important files are or folders are the Atmosphere and Bootloader. So it's okay to highlight all of the other files and copy and replace. But we're gonna highlight everything right now and then extract to the root or this empty space of your SD card. 
So when it asks you if you have so many files with the same names, just go ahead and replace them. Because the most important ones is the atmosphere and bootloader. But that's pretty much it. Once you have uh, extracted the new files to your SD card, you should be updated and good to go. Went ahead and, and left the Fusey uh, bin file in here just in case you want to use it for some unknown reason. And also the payload.bin file is for Hecate. For this latest version of Hecate 6.2.5, you can use this payload.bin file with a Tegra RCM GUI or if you have an RCM loader. So that would be up to you. I already went ahead and replaced this file with, uh, with the reboot to payload file in Atmosphere. So that way when you uh, reboot to payload on the homebrew menu, it will take you back into Hecate. So with that, everything should be okay. I also added a host file right here, and this should block any type of communication. And just in case you're wondering, and you are not able to access any online features, which you shouldn't, but if you try to, it should fail. So this should also help you with accidentally failing. But we are done with the SD card. We can go ahead and try it out. I'm gonna eject out my SD card, put it back in the switch, and let's see if we can um, boot into Atmosphere. Okay, so after you inject into Hecate, it should show up like this. You may have another screen that says change your date and time, but once you do that, it's a one-time thing. But here on the top, it should say 6.2.5. And all you need to do is go into the launch. You're going to have all these options here. The first one is OFW with no atmosphere. The second one is atmosphere running with Fusey. The third one is atmosphere running on MEC Fusey. The other last two are running with FSO and FSO MEC. So whichever one you were using before, you'll be able to pick that one. But I always use this uh, second one. I don't have any MEC. See if it boots up. All right, so we made it back onto the switch, and I did not have any errors after booting into Atmosphere. And I hope you didn't either. But of course, if you did, you can leave a comment down below, and I'll try and help you out as best I can. But here on the home menu, we can check to see if we are updated with the latest Atmosphere on the latest Switch firmware by going into System Settings, going all the way down to System. And here under system update, I am on the latest switch firmware right now, which is 20.0.1, running Atmosphere 1.9.0. And I have an S because I'm using my Atmosphere on Sysnan. If you have an E, you're using yours on Emu MMC. Now in this pack, I did not add the Exosphere. A lot of people have issues when I add that, and I don't know why it doesn't happen like that to me. But I did add those uh, host files that won't allow you to accidentally update or access anything online. So um, that's pretty much it. A good way to test this is um, if you can access any type of folder, that's a pretty good sign that everything seems to be. So I have this custom made one uh, from the channel and if I enter it, I should not have any. So there we go. Everything seems to be working just fine. And of course, if you're interested in this uh, forwarder, you can leave a comment down below and I can try and help you. I did not add it in the pack for obvious reason, but it's working for me. And that's usually a good sign that everything else is working as well. So that's pretty much it. Everything is working for me here. I hope everything works for you as well. Of course, when there is the full release, I will be updating my packs. Uh, more appropriately, I'll be adding them to my GitHub page. That way, those of you that use the AIO updater app can um, safely update if you like. I will also upload my 20.0.1 uh, firmware. So that way, those of you that want to safely update to it when everything is okay, you can go ahead and do that. But right now, if you like, you can use my AIO updater to download the 19.0.1 and use the daybreak here in Atmosphere and downgrade. But just keep in mind that downgrading sometimes is a big risk. So if you don't really know what you're doing or if you don't wanna risk it, just wait for all the support. As far as right now, this is working and everything will be getting updated.
hope it works for you like it's working for me i guess the last thing i can do is show you that going into the reboot to payload does work i have i believe this file is added with my packs and this is for mainly the Mariko devices that have chips. I don't know if it's working for 20.0.1 right now uh, for the chipped Mariko's devices, but that's what this is for. So just like reboot to payload, but for Mariko devices. You can use it on any switch as well. I'm going to use it here on my OG switch. And once I push the minus to reboot, I go back into Hegate. So let's check that out. Get off a of dock, straight into Hegate. That's pretty much it. Everything works for you. Like it works. And yeah, when there's an update, I will be updating. But for now, um, let me know if it works. <laughs> Leave a comment down below. And if anybody needs any type of help, comment and I'll try and get back to you as much as I can. I don't have a lot of time. I've been working a lot. My kids have uh, really odd schedules. So. Uh, right now, two in the morning, I should be asleep for work, but I wanted to get this out there for y'all. So hope it works and let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.